Hello you guys and welcome back to another vlog. Hopefully I posted the video of me cooking for the week. And if I did, you guys know that I made some mashed potatoes and salmon. So that's what we're gonna eat today. Today is Monday. I just cooked everything yesterday. So I'm excited. I'm so glad that I actually pre-made all my meals. It just feels so good. Cause I feel like I can just like take my food and start back working and not have to like, you know, sit here and cook every single day and take some time out of my day. Look how creamy my potatoes are. I didn't have any like real raw garlic. I only made one salmon because I only had one piece of salmon, so. After this, we have no more salmon. That's all I need for this meal. This is chicken, by the way. I heated it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of honey because I love honey. I love a, like, a sweet, spicy salmon. Normally, I make a sauce. I don't feel like it right now, so we're just gonna drizzle a little honey. And normally I would drizzle some of my sriracha. I've tried to find this in the stores. Y'all know they discontinued this exact sriracha, like the one by Hugh Fong. So to buy it on Amazon, it's like so expensive. It's so expensive, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm trying to save this last little bit. And I bought some more sriracha from Trader Joe's. This is not good. Like it's just not the same. They trying too hard, but that's all I got. So, and I wish I had some mangoes because I would I would definitely do like a mango salsa on this. But bon appetit! I'm about to go edit, and I may run some errands. I don't know yet, but I may run some errands today. I need a wax so bad, girl. I feel like y'all. I feel like my coot is like as long as my hair right now. Like imagine, okay? But anyway, so I feel like I need to do that. I also wanna get my brows done, but I'll have to go to Midtown. I don't feel like it, but we'll see after I edit this video. I have to edit this video first of the meals and stuff so I can get that up to you guys. I want pickle, cause why not? I get the hot grillos, they are delish. Yogurt, and then I'm gonna get some water. But love these, these are so good. This is a daily probiotic yogurt. Lunch is served. I finished editing, but I didn't post today. I'm gonna do a voiceover and post tomorrow, but it's time to wrap my hair and do my nighttime routine. Y'all, so much has changed in my nighttime routine. I have seen such a difference in my skin and how it looks, how it feels. Got some prescription stuff. Hey, Tuda. Okay, it's up there. Okay. Okay, okay, this is pretty solid. That's enough. Y'all can still see me. Good. I'm just gonna pat this in. I like to press. Since I cut it in half, I made two. It just felt right. If this ain't the most convenient thing, <laughs> I don't know what it is. The perfect little. Good morning, you guys. I actually already had my coffee for the day. I just realized that I forgot to show you guys one of the biggest improvements that I've done to my house. These picture frames, I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do back here. But 
I put these dimmable lights and I paint it in the inside and I feel like it just gives such a pop. Like, let me move y'all back so you can really get a visual, okay? Look at that. Not keeping the paintings there, but they're, they're there right now, but we are decorating for Christmas. So I'm trying to think of like what my mom may want to do for Christmas, because y'all already know it's coming. And I also installed a dimmer. This is the dimmer, okay. And it's on the lowest, I think. Yeah, it's on the lowest light setting. You can raise that baby up like that, or turn it down. It is Alexa activated as well. So that's pretty fun. Six eyes, say lies, that's what they mean. That's what they mean, that's what they mean, that's what they mean. At least it gives me a drawer to put my stuff in. I'm gonna find some kind of divider to go in here. I forgot I had this perfect divider I got from Ikea. It fits perfectly in here. Let's put the smaller ones first. Absolutely. <laughs> Hello, girl. Look, friend. Boom. Absolutely. I used to stick around. Definitely not for too long. But boy, you got me hooked and made me want to write this song. Thought all guys are the same. Apparently, I was wrong. Let me take you somewhere. Yesterday I went to the post office and I got and I got a package that I thought wasn't gonna be here until today, but it's here. I kind of just put everything. I try to get the boxes out of my car as soon as possible. So like I took everything out of the boxes and trashed it. But I think I've tried this coming because I feel like I have hair products from them. Um, this I Am Proud brand. This brand, Hair Proud. This is like a all inclusive, like hair milk. Not sure. Shake before use. I mean, I guess I'll try this out when my hair is curly. But I thought they only had hair products, but apparently they have skincare products. They have this like dry oil spray. I am obsessed with oil sprays. Like all I put on is oil. I never do like lotions or anything like that. I just, I don't have time. And I like my skin to shine. They have this SPF of 50. It is very watery. But I'm excited to travel with this. Also, this brand sent me like all these lippies. We got lip liners, lip creams. I put one on the yesterday and it was so red. And I'm like, oh, I love these. And it looked like it was going to stay on pretty good. So I'm going to put these in my little makeup stash because we're going to be rotating these out. Like, I can't read this handwriting. Pepper Rebed? I, I don't know. I don't know. Jazz also sent me 1212 products so that I can straighten my hair at home by myself. And I'm so excited because these products are not cheap and they're so good. Like my hair, this is almost two weeks now. Look how shiny. Look, look how healthy looking. Like stop playing with me. So I have the 1212 mud mask and this is with dead sea mud this is what she used she taped everything up by the way so it doesn't look like it. so kind of take the tape off this is what the mud looked like she used this and then she rinsed the hair out after she used this and then she went in with her conditioner and used this with the steamer it says it's plant-based so every i think everything is plant-based y'all um let's see apply conditioner to wet hair and massage with lukewarm water it got some aloe juice some baba she just got some stuff in here, y'all. Salon quality products made for professional and personal use. Also, the hair mist. When did she put? Oh, she put this on before she blow dried. And it actually comes with a little pump. So this is basically the heat protector. Spray on damp hair, blow dry, and style as desired. Y'all can see it has a little bit of oil. It's not too much, but it, you can tell like it's not majority oils. Oh, I forgot the shampoo. She did shampoo after she used the clay so definitely have a plant-based shampoo too this is what i was most excited about the hair serum serum this shit's like 40 something bucks but and it's so little but all you need is one pump per style so just pump rub it in after you blow out don't mind my underarms but then you just like put it all over the hair and then you can straighten it and it just mm, mm, mm. But I'm excited. I'm glad she take this up. Uh, a drip, any drop that would have came out of here, I would have made it. 
would have been me. Been I didn't actually know this, but she also has a curl defining gel. She didn't tell me about her little curl product. She might be expanding, but yeah, and a scalp oil. And it also had a comb in it. She also came with a comb. All right, now on to the clothing items that I got. I decided to order from Naked. Not sure if y'all heard of them. It's N-A-K-D. I threw the bag away because it's just, I, I try to get those bags out. You don't know what them bags being, honey. Get out of my house. Get my clothes out. Let's get out. So the first thing that I picked up is this top. I don't know why the white detailing on the sides and on the like neckline really just draw me, just drew me in. But I was obsessed with this. I got it in a size medium. I actually was, I'm in the stage where I'm contemplating between getting smalls and mediums because, you know, I when I just grew and I got really big and I was at 165 for a second, I was realizing that I probably should have got mediums and stuff because everything that was small just stopped fitting. So I was like, girl, just get mediums because you don't know how your weight going to do. You don't know what you're going to do. So anyway, I got this. Oh, yeah, it goes this way. So it's going to be like this. I'm obsessed because it gets to show my tag. Mm -hmm. Y'all know. It's cute. It's cute. But yeah, the material is really nice. It has like a ribbed material. I feel like this is going to be my new company that I like to shop at because, yeah, they had like a 30% off. But the quality is so good. I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and say it. The quality is good. It gives me long lasting quality pieces. I also picked up this dress. This dress fit me so good, y'all. The booty, the booty is doing what the booty is doing. Now, this dress does not go all the way to my ankles. Even though it's long, I am 5'7". So, it doesn't go all the way to my ankles. But with some knee boot, with the sock booties or the booties that come up past your ankles, this is going to be so perfect. I tried them on with some booties. I saw this t-shirt on the site. And I was like, it's so nice and clean looking. Like, it's so pretty. It just said Copenhagen on the side. But I just wanted a nice, clean white tee that just looked like it was good quality so i'm excited to try this out and style this it's like a navy blue color in the writing so i'm gonna play off of that a little bit but yeah just a t-shirt y'all but i got it in a size large because i wanted that oversized fit you know i got another white and black tank top as well guys <laughs> it looks so basic but when i put it on i'm like you know what i don't think i have a lot of tank tops that i actually like like that feels like oh i can wear this out to dinner like i don't have a lot of tank tops that i feel like okay let me wear this one to dinner tucked into some pants and it can give a very classy look this is a very classy tank top and i am obsessed it has that ribbed material and it's just a it's just a tank top it's not it's not much but i like the neckline how it just scoops and it is so clean and classy and I think it looks really good. I think the black and the white is just super cute together. A random fact about me, I used to love vests. Like my mom could not stop me from wearing vests back in elementary school. I was obsessed. A vest with some slacks was my style with some flats. I seen this one on the Naked site and I was like, absolutely. I also seen that H&M has a few and I need to go with H&M. I'm about to have like so many vests. If they go out of style again, I don't care because that's my style. Looking, this one is like a, I don't even know what color this is. I feel like I did not order this color. But it's like a greenish, grayish kind of color. Either way, I'm digging it. It's cute. I got another half shoulder top. I'm into half shoulder tops. They are the most versatile sh top that you can buy because you can wear it in the winter or the summer and still look appropriate. Like you look like you still for the weather. Even if you wore this in the summer with the sleeve, no one would think twice. And even in the winter with the sleeve, you'll have a jacket on, take it off and look like, oh, it looks spicy for the winter time. Yes. Also has this slit on the side. Wait, can y'all see that? Wait. Yeah. It has a slit on the side, as you can see. So it's open right there, and it kind of slants a little bit too. Can y'all see that? Yeah, you see it. I tried it on with these pants that I have, because I am so into linen slacks. They are the, they are the best. You could just pop these on. These are my new sweatpants. Just popping on some slacks that are nice and fitted at the top, but like very baggy, very comfortable. I can wear these anytime. I love to wear these when I'm traveling, especially. These are like top tier when traveling. I'm probably about to go live and do my makeup and then film a try on haul with these pieces and then probably run some errands. I'm kind of running out of time because 
My day start. No, I'm not. Never mind. I thought it was like one. I thought it was one thirty something. It's like ten. I was so ready to film the haul, y'all. And so I was like trying on clothes. I had an outfit on, and the microphone died. So I gotta wait on that to charge. But I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna make the burgers. Okay. Two squares of parchment paper. Okay. Turn the heat on. Got that fire. Got that fire. Don't want anything else. I might do some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some season salt. Go ahead and put your burger on here. Take your little paper, put it on top, and then you smash. Season it for them. Okay. I should have went ahead and put the other bird on here, but it's okay. Look, that's fine. Just like that. Just like that right there. I got another one to make, though. Yup. You see that? So I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese for that burger. I'm going to make me a little sauce. We're going to do some mayo. Some mustard. And some ketchup. And some dill relish. Mm -hmm. Just mix that up. Burger sauce. I had bought two things of um, hot dog buns and not a pack of hot dog and a pack of hamburger like I thought I was getting. So I gotta make these hot dog buns work for these hamburgers. So I went ahead and like toasted it a little bit. And it's gonna it's gonna do what it's gonna do today. Kinda get other. First I gotta put my sauce on the bun. I think I need to cut the bun. I meant the meat. Chop up some lettuce. <laughs> Top you off with your other side of the hot dog. Y'all, oh my god, look at this little. Hot dog hamburgers. Okay, that's not on top, but you see? Let's see if I can pick it up. Oh yeah, see? <laughs> my, fa my family's here. So, welcome to the culinary. Okay. My mom bought me a table and some chairs because we're having Thanksgiving here. Y'all know we have Thanksgiving here every year, but like she got a table and chairs for like games. Let me show y'all what it looked like. Y'all already know his foolish mm -hmm. behind. This my nephew. Y'all, my mama bought that. My mama over there in the cut. She done bought the hey, table the and these chairs. Okay, so they got the cable right here, right on the thing. So it's the cable for like if somebody cheating on you. You hit the cable and it boom! Press the table down there. You're on the camera. Come on, Maddie, answer. 
Yeah. Uh, wasn't that the whole point? Can I roll police and medical already? No. And Dad, he's okay? Yeah, Bobby says he's doing well. <laughs> Step two, step now, 30 to request you at 19124 Sunset Assault and Battery in Progress. Copy. Dispatch, Pat Knight to Los Angeles County. Car accident? Yes, you guys are already on route to that location. Please proceed to Assault and Battery in Progress. Copy that. Okay, officers are on their way. Try not to kill each other before they get here. 727030 in route. Did you call something? We didn't call you. Still trying to figure out who called us. Jackson already has a fight. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woke up this morning and did my brother's hair. I forgot to show y'all that. So y'all can see my brother's hair. Hold on, Mom. Show them Chris hair. I did Chris hair. Christopher, they want to see your hair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I did Christopher's hair oh, yeah, too, y'all. Yeah, yeah. He wanted some plaits, and then I just plaited it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking nice, looking decent. I gotta get it right, though. Gotta get it right. The fam is gone. They're riding away right now. I'm always looking out the window as they drive away. I ain't even had time to take a shower or nothing. Like, I got up, and my brother was like, do my hair. And after that, they wanted me to make Rice Krispies. So I paid Rice Krispies. And we'll also have a plan to screen in that bottom part where the hot tub is. I just feel like it needs a screen down there because it's just too close to the trees and stuff. <laughs> Y'all, I just arrived to get my brows done because, yeah, I've been growing them out for quite some time. And I think now is the time to get them done. Like, I'm excited because this is the one I've been growing out and it looks thick. So, we're going to see what they do. I normally come here. It's Amsterdam Walk. It's right over here by Trader Joe's, too. So, I'm excited to go to Trader Joe's. I'm, it's 11.34. I'm going to go ahead and go in, and then I'm going to come back in. Rest, I'll show you. <laughs> it's literally 11.40 now. <laughs> Kept them thick, but nice and clean. Ah! Yes, absolutely. I'm also thinking I should get my nails done. <laughs> We made it to Trader Joe's. Tra is you on? Come on. Now. We made it to Trader Joe's. 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 Okay. I asked y'all on my Instagram to give me some focus on. I asked y'all on Instagram to give me some suggestions. So I'm trying to wait because y'all giving me some and I'm like, I know y'all gonna give me good suggestions once I'm like gone. But um yeah, I'm gonna read these and then we're gonna go into Trader Joe's. There's such a parking situation, like this parking lot be booming. But this I shouldn't have came today, but I like to get everything done while I'm out. So let me go get my stuff. I'm back home, y'all, and I just wanna say, every time I go to the nail salon, I instantly regret it. I was talking to my friend who's like, well, what, how much everything costs today or whatever. And so I went, I went to name and everything that I did today. And 
And then I got to the nails, y'all. I paid $170 for my nails. And when I was paying for it, I wasn't thinking anything about it because I normally spend that amount of money. But now, today it was different though because I, I didn't get designs. There's, there's no design, except these, which both of these only cost me $8. The girl charged me only $8 for it. So I'm still just like, what the hell costs this much? So first of all, for my nails, they also charged me to shape them, which I got, I get Gel-X nails because you supposed to get the shape of the nail. Like you purchase the shape of the nail. Why she decide to do coffin and shape them herself? Why didn't y'all have, the, it's Gel-X. But whatever, but whatever, whatever. Also for the gel, top coat, which I'm gonna stop telling them to do that. I'm gonna just start doing it at home. I'm, I'm possibly just gonna get everybody to just do the base on me. I don't want them to polish shit because gel is expensive when you go there. Cause I had, I, I also asked her for the breakdown of my toes, y'all. All I got, all I, all I, all I got was a little French. All I got was a little French print. Why did it cost me $65? And I decided to get the $35 pedicure. I decided to get the $35 pedicure in the first place. I get the $35. The gel cost $20. Right? I thought that was, like that's a bit much for just the just the polish, just the type of polish. I'll bring my own polish if that's the case. $20. Another $12 for the French tip. So what? Like, why would you charge me? Why would you charge me to? So it's $30 just to paint my toenails? $30 to paint my toenails, y'all. A French tip. I can do it at home. I'm never in my life getting again. Not at that place. I don't know what, why the fuck they feel like that's okay. It's not okay. That's That's, that's ridiculous. 170 for this basic shit absolutely not i will not be doing this again but anyway um it's time for a trader joe's haul trader joe's was packed down okay but let me show you what i got so i got some salmon because i've never gotten salmon from trader joe's but of course we know we love salmon okay i got some edamame i made some bomb ass edamame okay with some sauce on it like some sticky soy like sweet soy glaze Ugh. yes it's so good i actually don't even know what this is um i just see this girl add it to her ramen all the time it's baki but like i and i know it's i know it's rice cakes but i've never had it basically let's just say i never had it so i picked these up from trader joe's because i saw them and i was like yeah and we're gonna like test that out because that looks delicious it just looks so good to me and i love that trader joe's always double bag their bag I also got some pot stickers. I am such a pot sticker fan. Too bad, no. Also, I got the garlicky pasta because this reminds me of the garlic noodles from Yard House. And that's actually what I ended up getting for lunch today. But I told them to just box it up because I had got an appetizer and I was done after the appetizer. Y'all saw it. So I got them to bag it up. So I'll show y'all what that looked like. But I thought about the garden. I thought about those garlic noodles when I saw these. And so hopefully that tastes similar. Also, I picked up this beef and broccoli. It looks like it's kind of like a crispy beef. And I don't know if y'all have ever been to, dang, what's that place? Oh, anyway, they have this um, crispy beef and they have like lobster mac and cheese that I like. I cannot think of the name. If I think of it, I put it on the screen for him. I actually went with like Casey, Casey and Lisa one day and I still can't remember the name. What was the freak? I don't know. I'll think about it. I put it on the screen, but if it were, if it's like theirs, mm -hmm, that's going to be my new thing. That's going to be my new thing for him. I completely fell in love with their fried rice. So I got the vegetable fried rice. Someone told me to get a chicken fried rice, but I always pair my stuff with meats. So I'm just, I feel like that's the time they put some veggies in my system. So I just, I was like, let's just get the veggie. I also got these honey walnut shrimp. Y'all know where these are from. And if you don't know, Panda Express. So hopefully they taste like those. That's like the only thing that I get from Panda. I get that and I'll get the orange chicken. I love croissants, so I saw these mini croissants. 
I also got these dumplings. I normally get the dumplings from Costco, but I saw those and I, they were like three bucks. So I was like, okay, good. <laughs> Last but not least, I got the beef burritas. I saw someone, I saw someone on TikTok make a pizza out of this. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know if I wanna do tacos, pizza, some other type of dish, but people highly recommended it. So your girl ended up getting it. And that is all that I got as far as the food goes. I need to put all that up. Ended up getting flowers. And I did not know they give you a bucket. I'm like, listen, I need a bucket at the crib. This is a big bucket. And they give it to you for free when you get some flowers. I don't know like what's the limit of flowers you gotta get to get the bucket. But I ended up getting some roses, some baby breath. I think these are probably, yeah. Um, some, girl, sunflowers, I think. And then I think, what are these called? I know the name of them. I just can't think of it right now, friend. But these, what? I know the name. I just can't think of it. Anyway, by the time the video go up, I'm gonna know the name. <laughs> Oh, hydrangeas, duh. I also got this pumpkin body butter from them. I've already opened it because I love the lid. I love a little flip out and it is so creamy. I don't know, it was on my way out and I was like, I don't even like pumpkin stuff. I'm not a spice, cinnamon, apple, candle. I, I hate all that, but something just said, girl, get this butter. And it actually, it smelled pretty good. So yeah, 